Jamnipsu, everyone. Welcome back. Guess what we got today? I have literally 32 ounces of all blue crab claw. So before I get into this, I just want to give a quick shout out to my girl, Shada Kiss. The link is in here below. She designed this um, awesome, I don't know if you can see it, V-neck for me. Thank you so much. I wanted to show you guys the actual um, the actual bag. So this is the 32 ounce bag that I got. This was only $7.99 from ShopRite here in Brooklyn. I have the uh, bag just to show you that it's pretty much the same um, amount. Uh, what I did was just steam these in some Zatarain boil. So here I have some butter garlic Cajun sauce using my favorite Chad's Cajun sauce all the way from Long Beach. I'm also featuring Chad's Cajun seasoning, which I'm gonna top on top of this. And I also use it in the uh, garlic butter. So I'm just gonna show you the variations of the claws in here, all different types of sizes. So that's pretty good for $7.99. I mean, keep in mind, this is already pre, um, so don't expect to have it like super fresh as the live, um, you know, blue crabs. Not bad. Oh my God, look how it There's the claw, all still intact. Oh my God, this sauce is like really good, you guys. So I don't have any like buy or anything. We're just gonna sit here and I'm gonna chat with you guys. I hope everything has been going well for you guys. Hope that work is going good. Hope that school is going good. Been like a really crazy past um, few months um, for work, but you know, we all have to uh, get our coins. I thought about trying this too, but I was really craving Chad's um, Cajun sauce. I should put this in here. I haven't had it in a while, so. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. So as you guys know, I was recently in Lowell, Massachusetts. Um, had a lot of fun. Got to meet the whole like Simply Khmer crew. If you guys have not been to Simply Khmer in Lowell, Massachusetts, definitely check them out. There was like nothing on that mukbang that we did. That didn't taste good. I would say if I had to pick like a really um, like signature dish at that restaurant, I feel like it would be the um, the encore wings. Oh my god, those were amazing! Wow, look how big that one. I'm gonna be going um, to New Orleans again at the end of this month. I'm really excited. And then in April, I don't know that I'll be in town for um, any Khmer New Year events, but I definitely will be in Orlando. So 
I have to pack my little um, portable gra gas grill because Derek wants to apparently compete with all the food that um, I'm making and he wants to show you guys like um, how he can cook seafood his way and then how I cook seafood my way and then you guys can basically enjoy the recipes and stuff so So for those of you that are just um you know new to my channel um, if you don't know what chad's cajun um sauce is i really recommend it i how you make it is it's literally just bu um butter or margarine and garlic and then you put a little bit of this and then a little bit of the Chad's Cajun seasoning and then whatever um, extras you want. Because these are like pre-frozen, you don't really know if there's gonna be like a good amount of meat in there. The shirt that I got, um, I actually found them through Sugar and Ice. So apparently Sugar and Ice had their branding done by Shade Kiss. And um, you know, it's funny cause I was like, oh wait, Rosalind um, Q has a shirt from them. I was like, maybe they're legit. So I reached out to them and she designed this whole like uh, I, well, I mean, this you guys know the logo, but she's all like, I said, like, very simple. I like V-neck, and I would like to start branding my own stuff. So she's gonna have a couple other things um, put together for me, so I'm excited about that. Ooh, this one came right out. Woo! <laughs> I love when the meat just like, it pulls out. You're nasty. Y'all need to get your mind out of the gutter. Also with blue crabs, just be careful because you know, they have like these little spikes and stuff on the corners of these, um, these hands, these claws. As my dad would say, but yet, what does that mean? That means, what die meaning like you could cut yourself. Mut cut die your, your hands. Cause I know I'm a wimp and when I mut die, I'm just in pain for like a whole week. I just love that every claw that I pull, the whole thing just comes and stays intact. I know a lot of people don't like to eat blue crabs because there's not a lot of meat in here, but I think that the meat tastes like, like sweeter, you know? Also, when I was in Lowell, um, my boy Xavier, the owner's son from <laughs> Simply Kamai was like, oh, you know that you're known as like clam girl to a lot of people now it's all like forget like spring roll fever but so like people don't really know you as like spring roll fever they know you as like clam girl i was like dang 
which is true, which is true. I mean, I don't really, I mean, I love like egg rolls and spring rolls. But I promise one day I'm gonna have a tutorial on how to make fried spring rolls. The problem is I just don't like making them. <laughs> I know you guys always ask me, when are you gonna make them, when are you gonna make them? I'm like, it's like I have trauma, PTSD from when I was a kid. Because when I was younger, me and my brother, all we wanted to do was just play video games. But I always had to get stuck making the egg rolls. And once you become good at it, there's no going back. So I think if you have the role of the person that like hikes the, peels the wrapper, be that person. Because once you start rolling, everybody in the mall wants to critique how you're rolling your egg rolls. It's like, but a moose eye, don't move at all. Don't move at all. Move meaning like basically rolling the egg rolls. So it took me like a few tries and a lot of criticism from my parents to basically roll the egg rolls correctly. Otherwise they would be like, don't do it at all. But I didn't really have a choice. So I kind of had to uh, perfect it but I really just wanted to play video games. That's all I wanted to do. <sighs> mm. I wish I could pan to you guys. This like line of sight that my dogs are giving me. They're literally like staring at me, like sucking on the crab claws. <laughs> So the best um, blue crab that I had was in Maryland. There is something different about the meat there. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the water. It's a type of blue crab, but oh my God. Marquita, if you're watching this, I t please, please tell me you agree. And also, when I go to Orlando, they don't really have like the rock crabs that I've been using. So you're probably gonna see me cook and eat with um, blue crabs while I'm down there. So Derek, be ready to take me to the Asian store cause I gotta pick them up. Mm. People always ask me, why you always eat seafood? I don't know. I just like, ever since I was a kid, I always like seafood, but mostly I really, truly love like naan. I don't know why. I could never get sick of it. Well, I don't know. Maybe, because remember when I was talking a while ago about the castaway, Tom Hanks and castaway? I mean, he had the luxury of being stuck on that island and eating it every day, but when he got rescued, they were serving him lobster and stuff. And he was like, nah, bro. <laughs> I got this off of um, Instacart. I don't know if you guys have used Instacart. Parking is hard to find in like New York City, you can kind of find like street parking in Brooklyn. Well, you can find street parking anywhere, but it just takes some time. But I was like, you know what? Today, I just need somebody to deliver me to my apartment, some soda, and let me see what else they have. And I saw this bag of um, blue crab claws. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to get this. So I think next time I'm gonna get it again because it literally was only $8 for the bag. I'm gonna see if I like can chai or something with something. So apparently in New York City, like people don't drink like just out of the can. Um, my friend was telling me that she's just like, no, like why would you put your lips on that? I was like, I don't know. Like I just have normally always have. 
And she's like, no, my dad works for um, Coca-Cola and you know, when he's working in the warehouse, like he's stepping on all of those cases of soda. Um, so you shouldn't drink out of, you know, straight from the can. So ever since she told me that, I was like, okay, I've been like using straws and stuff. But if I don't have a straw, I will very use the, you know, edge of my shirt and like really wipe it down well. But I'm still alive. I feel like I've eaten like this much. <laughs> and it's not, I feel like it's like not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh my God, I have to tell you guys how small of a world that we live in, but also like our Cambodian community. So, you know, about six months ago, I told you guys I found my like long lost like childhood friend. Um, and we ended up like reconnecting. So that was kind of cool. I don't know if you guys follow Hype Foodies. I got this message from them and uh you know just talking whatever and a few messages in they're like oh um so strange thing like my mom just got off the phone with your mom and i was like who's your mom and she's like oh so and so so it turns out her mom is my is the sister to my grandma so my grandma's like passed um and i was like oh so you're the family that lives in virginia it's like distant cousins that i was like remember hanging out with when i was younger but you know we never like kept in touch or anything so ooh, um i was like oh so like because i was like i don't remember her but then again we were also like really young so I said like to be honest I remember like two guys Philip because he picked us up from the airport and Dara and so he's like oh like that's my brother I was like oh okay cool and I said the last time that I saw everyone was when I went to somebody's wedding in, when I was like in eighth grade, so like 1998. So, she was like, oh, I was like seven. I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> I was like, then I probably wasn't hanging out with you. And the one thing that I remember about being there, like going to that trip in Virginia was, I freaking had to make egg rolls the whole time. I wasn't allowed to go downstairs and play video games like all the boys. My mom was my mom was like, no, you're staying up here and you're gonna make egg rolls and you're gonna fry them as the peel and everybody come in. I was like, but I did it because I'm a good daughter. And, but I was like, F this. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Love this. So I want to give a shout out uh, to these top five cities. Um, that follow me according to the Instagram uh, <laughs> analytics. So the top city that follows me, I'm sure you guys already know, is Long Beach, California. So thank you, Long Beach. The second one that always like is either neck and neck or with Long Beach 
is Philadelphia. So thank you, Philly. Appreciate you guys. The third one is Low Massachusetts. Okay, thank you, Low. Appreciate you guys too. And the fourth city is, can you guys guess? The fourth city is Phnom Penh. Okay, Alkun Charan Srokmai. I'm like, at least somebody from Cambodia is watching me. <laughs> and then number five is New York City. So thank you, New York. Whoever is watching me in New York. Probably Alex. <laughs> oh my God. I love when it does that. Oh my God. You know what I can't wait for? is when um, crawfish is in season. Cause I have not done a crawfish boil in a while. And I'm so excited to eat it when I'm in New Orleans, but I wanna eat it here. I don't know that I can eat the rest of this on camera, you guys. Um, but let me find another claw for you guys and then let's just call it a day. Looks like a big one. Oh, all right, this is the last one. I'll even bring the sauce to you guys. Ooh, look at all that garlic. Mmm. So good. Let me just show you the damage that I've done. That's a lot. I made like kind of a dent. It still looked the same, but I thought I could eat all of this on camera, but it's sweating and I need to turn the lights off. So thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you guys um, tuning in to my channel. Uh, hopefully next time I'll buy more of this and we'll maybe chat with something. All right. So take care. Bye.